the Bible to the cross from the cross. Every Bible story has three components. First, God's law. Second, God's compassion. Third, God's miracle. Opening your Bible opens miracles. The Bible as one story is holy enough in our lives. Day 233 2 Chronicles 5-7 to Solomon's Wisdom After Solomon prepared the temple and all the utensils, he transported the Ark of Covenant to the temple and held the temple dedication ceremony while offering thanksgiving prayer to God. First point, God's glory dwells above Moses' tabernacle and Solomon's temple. At last, the Jerusalem temple came to a finish after seven years. But even after all had been done, there was still some gold and silver that remained as David had offered so much. Therefore, Solomon took the remaining gold and silver and stored it inside the temple. And now the ark was placed inside the temple. 2 Chronicles 5 records the process of moving the ark into the temple. Solomon firstly gathered the leaders of Israel in order to place the ark into the temple. As David had consulted with the leaders of Israel, Solomon also did the same. Second, during July, in time for the annual festival of a kingdom of priests, Solomon gathered all the Israelites to the temple. Third, the ark was carried to the temple. Prior to this, the ark was placed in the tent in Gibeon. Fourth, Solomon and the Israelites all made an offering to God. Fifth, the ark was finally placed into the most holy place. Sixth, the musicians sang and the priests blew their trumpets. 1 Kings 8 does not record the precise steps regarding the ark being placed into the temple. But in 2 Chronicles, the detail of the musicians were recorded. Seventh, God's glory filled the entire temple. Second point, Solomon revealed that God decided for the ark to be housed in Jerusalem and for the king of Israel to be David. After the temple dedication, Solomon blessed the people of Israel. Solomon thanked God for being able to implement his father David's vision and dream. In the book of Kings, it is written that God chose David to be the king, but in Chronicles, it explains that God selected Jerusalem as the place and David as the king to rule over his people. As such, although the book of Kings and Chronicles document the same story, certain differences can be found. Third point, Daniel's prayer can be seen as an extension of Solomon's prayer of dedication for the temple. Solomon prayed for the dedication of the temple. The first was for God to preserve David's household as kings. This was Solomon remembering the words of his father David. The second was a prayer for the Israelites. The third was a prayer for the foreigners. This part was the highlight of Solomon's prayer. This was a reference to how God had planned to bless all nations since the days of Abraham. Fourth was a prayer for restoration after war. Back in the days of Moses, God had given all the details about how the people would be punished if they did not keep the laws of the kingdom of priests. Fifth, Solomon's prayer came to a cross. Later on, we can see that Daniel looked to Jerusalem and prayed, whilst referring to Solomon's prayer of dedication for the temple. Fourth point, Chronicles records that God answered Solomon's prayer immediately after the temple dedication. When Solomon's prayer ended, God's fire came down as a response. In the Book of Kings, it is recorded that after Solomon's prayer, Solomon blessed the people. However, in Chronicles, it is written that God came and answered Solomon's prayer with his fire. 
as the act of blessing the people was the light of the priestess. This part was taken out. Solomon's temple dedication ceremony was a large-scale national event. It lasted for seven days. The opening of the temple marked the end of the 500 years of the moving ark and opened the new age of the 1,000-year temple. With the start of new age, God recited once again the blessings or curses that would follow depending on their obedience or disobedience. The first thing God said was that he would listen to the prayer of the people if they repented in the temple. Second, God said that he would bless Solomon on the condition that he went in the way of his father. Third, if Solomon did not go in the way of his father, then he would be judged. Fifth point, Solomon's wisdom was revealed most vividly during his prayer of dedication for the temple. Solomon in many ways represented what wisdom was. Solomon's trial became so famous that news spread all over. And for the foreigner who does not belong to your people Israel, but has come from a distant land because of your great name and your mighty hand and your outstretched arm, when they come and pray toward this temple, then hear from heaven your dwelling place. Do whatever the foreigner asks of you, so that all the peoples of the earth may know your name and fear you. As you do your own people, Israel, and may know that this house I have built bears your name. Solomon's prayer of dedication contained God's dream, established through Abraham 1,000 years ago, as well as the vision of a kingdom of priests during the times of Moses. Solomon involved all the people of Israel in the temple ceremony for a week. The people all gathered in Jerusalem and it was such a huge event that 22,000 bulls and 120,000 sheep were offered as a sacrifice. The whole nation rejoiced together. The amazing thing was that this was all led by the young Solomon who was in his 20s. This Tong Doc app is amazing. When I first met Dr. Zhou, we were speaking together at a conference, and when I saw the Tong Bible and the way he had placed this one story together, the Bible, one story, I ordered cases of this Bible. Now to see this app, the Tong Doc app, ready for you to use in your daily Bibles reading, this is amazing because so many people tell me I don't understand the Bible, and he has placed it in an order as so that it is one story and then day after day takes you through the Bible in a way that God's Word will touch your heart so deeply that it changes your beliefs. It helps you to rise up and be the amazing person He created you to be. Welcome to the Tong Dog app.